Hey guys, this is Junhee and this is Juni. So Junhee meets Juni. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could be never alone. Could you explain about high density? Oh yeah. Um. So first of all, it's not a typo. Okay. Yeah. I was worried that people might think, oh, he misspelled seek, but it's intentional. And um, the song is about uh, just me in general and how I am with my friends and people around me. And I, I, I consider uh, having this type of trait to be a sickness. <laughs> What kind of sickness? Um, I mean, it's, it doesn't help me that much with uh, making friends because I, I, I tend to try and be with them for so long and for and all the time and I'm just looking for them and I'm wondering where they are and even when you know it's not like they don't like me they want they still want to hang out it's just that I want to hang out too much and it's that and it comes to that point where I'm playing hide and seek with these guys right so that's the whole synopsis of the of the song like the whole theme of the song yeah and um, that's why I consider it to be a sickness That's why I called it hide and sick. So there you go. Interesting. So yeah. since you write the words and tunes to your own songs, mm -hmm. do you have any stories to tell us while like coming up with your new song? Uh, I don't know why, but recently these days I've been trying to uh, get myself to be around people more because when I'm alone, it, I kind of start to get homesick. So speaking about hide and seek, Is there any side or sides of you that you think you are hiding from the public or your, or your fans? <laughs> oh. Oh. I try to filter myself a lot, to be honest, when I'm in front of a camera. But, but these days, I'm becoming more and more comfortable just saying my thoughts, I, especially after posting a show. I'm more comfortable talking about my feelings. So in contrast to the previous question, are there any sides of you that you want people to seek? I don't want to say I'm known for this, but I've been putting out songs that are more heartfelt, more romantic. It's like I don't know how do you call, how do you how would you describe my songs that I've recent like recently put out in the past? Your songs talk about love a lot, right? Yeah. So you're right. That's completely right. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's exactly what I, what I wanted you to say. So having having you know all those songs put out, I wanted to show a different side of me where I can be a little edgy. And this is what the song is about, and this is kind of like a new start to uh, another aspect of my music. And I'm trying to like branch out into a different world, so. You were born in Korea, but you got exported to Canada. You got packaged there, and then you got, and then you got imported back, right? Okay, so how was spending your time abroad while growing up? It wasn't too bad. I mean, I started school with uh, the kids over there. I didn't know there was a cultural barrier, like going over to their house and when they come over to my house, it's like, take off your shoes. Like that's like the basic thing, right? So I, I felt that a little bit of the cultural difference, but it wasn't much um, until I actually graduated uh, college and I wanted to pursue music. Tell us a little more, more about your debut story. Debut story. Wow. I have a bunch of debuts, actually. But I consider coming over to this company called uh, Move and um, starting everything and then putting on a song called Aura. I think that's like my actual debut, debut for me. So how did you come up with your stage name? <laughs> It's my English name. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I live my life um, as Juni and my Korean name is Hyungjun. Hyungjun and then Uh, my parents and my family would just use the chun and just call me chuni or chuna. And um, that's, I think that's how they came up with my English name. Because I didn't get a say. Because oh. I was a kid, I was a baby. So they put me out as Junior and I just grew up with it. Because what describes me better than the name I had my whole life? But you do look like... Juni? Do I just look like a Juni? Yeah, you do. Okay. She's like <laughs> nodding her head. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Another morning in my camp, another nigga. What kind of songs do you listen to? Do you recommend some of the songs you listen to? Yes, um, these days I'm very... I've become so nostalgic. I'm taking myself back to when I was a kid in elementary school. Well, so for some people it may be middle school. It's like year six, grade six. That was when I used to listen to a lot of punk rock. <laughs> Why are you laughing though? <laughs> 
Did like you? Like, did you ever? Like, Avril Lavigne? Yeah, yeah. like Avril Lavigne, like uh, Green Day, uh, My Chemical Romance, like all those songs that I used to listen to, I'm, put, I'm going back to it. So uh, which song or album most describes your musical personality? Mm. My personality right now, Hide and Sick, is like the best thing that describes my personality. My mood right now, I think so. I'm generally, I'm always in the thank you mood. Yeah, because I'm always living the dream, right? And are there any singers you want to collaborate, collaborate with in the future? Oh, yes. Too many, too many to name. But, um, um, but right now, I just want to make music with people that can connect with me. And whomever would love to collaborate with me, please. I mean, there would be a plenty. Hit my DMs. Slide into his DMs. Slide into my DMs. So now in your fourth year, mm -hmm. how have you been doing? Wow. The only thing I can think of is just I've, I've really worked my butt off to get to where I am now. And um, do you think I accomplished a lot? We just met him. <laughs> you just I, say I mean, that? I've known you for like three, four years, so. Really? Yeah, I've known you since like the new year TV. Actually? Yeah. Whoa. Not just because I'm a reporter. Oh, yeah. I thought you like did your research like because no, no, of this. No, no, no. Wow. No, wow. I'm not My bad. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? Do you think I've made some progress? I mean, like, I mean, people know you now, so. Wow. Oh. Uh, I never, I didn't, I didn't know that. I hope, I hope people know me. And you are also really pretty active on social media. Am I? I don't know. I'm, I'm terrible at social media. You put, you, like, like you, post, you, you post like your selfies and like your vlogs. Yeah. Blogs. Yeah. Uh, I try to. Um, it's always like nagged by, by her. <laughs> I just want to talk about. <laughs> But obviously, it's something that I have to do as an artist. I have to promote, promote myself, and I try to keep it consistent as possible. But yeah, there's times where I don't upload anything for like a month. Why did you decide to post cover songs on YouTube? Ah, I wanted to give my, my take on a song that I really, really enjoy. So the covers I that I put out are just songs that I listen to like almost like religiously, especially Peaches and stuff like uh, Go Crazy from like Chris Brown. Like I used to listen to it like religiously and I wanted to give my take on it. And at the same time, it gives me an opportunity to go to a different side of myself. When is this releasing? Like around next week. Next week? Okay, so Hide and Sick came out already and uh, it talks about me a lot, very, very honest uh, part of myself, and I hope everyone understands what I'm trying to express, and hope you enjoy the song, and hope you enjoy the song, and um, thank you for this interview, and I had a very, very fun time. Thank you for joining us today and sharing your story. This was Jun Hee with... Juni. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I wish I could be never alone. Am I talking too much? No. Okay.